Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and many of you have been asking me how you can get specific parts of your data from your iPhone and back that up either onto your Mac or Windows computer. And as you can see here, this software is called DearMob iPhone Manager, and it does just that. And they were nice enough to reach out to me and sponsor the video, and it does exactly what all of you have been asking for, all of these different things down here plus some other features as well. Let me plug in my iPhone 7 Plus that's on iOS 12 and show you what it looks like. Now it's fully compatible with iOS 12 and all of these different devices down here. And it gives some basic information in the upper left, the actual free storage, the amount of storage. And if we click this little button, it gives more information, but let's take a look at the preferences. Now the preferences have some pretty straightforward things where you export, where your cache is held, has some nice features as far as auto convert. You can auto convert music from AAC to MP3 or back and forth, depending on what you like. And you can also use hardware acceleration for that as well. But the interesting thing is down here, this has built-in encryption. It's asymmetric encryption and other types of encryption as well. It's all listed on their website that I'll link below. But as you can see, if I check this box, I can fill in a password and fully encrypt all of my data, backups, or whatever you'd like. You'll see I can encrypt photos, video, or contacts just on the fly. And I have other options as well. But you don't want to forget that password or you won't be able to decrypt your data. Now let's take a closer look. So right here, you can see all of the different options and we have a simple view of our files here. It takes a moment to load and you'll see there's just a folder. And if there's files in there, there isn't in this particular folder, but if there's files in there, we can drag them to our desktop or whatever we'd like to save them. We can do the same with photos and it loads pretty quickly. I found it takes up to 10 to 20 seconds, depending on how many photos you might have. We'll give it just a moment. Now it's loaded and you can see we have some different options. We have all of our different albums on the left here and here's some photos I've taken. And the nice thing about this is we can sort, we can fully sort it. We can completely manage our photos from here as well. So maybe I want this one or this one. I can select them all and export them. I can delete them. I can just refresh if I want to change what's on here or see what's on here and I can export with encryption. But if I wanted to export this, I just drag and drop it to my desktop, for example, and it starts to import it. It's really simple and straightforward and it works great. Now, if we go back, we can go to music and video and do the same thing, but we also have a backup. So if we click on backup, we can fully backup our device if we want to back up everything or we can restore from the backup. So this takes the place of what you might have as far as iTunes and you can get rid of that and use this instead. It works really well. Now down here is where it gets more interesting. So we've got our data security. We can add encrypted files or decrypt files. We also have the option for all of our contacts to be backed up, podcasts, books, and everything individually. But a lot of you want to know how you can back up your text messages. So if we go to SMS, it gives you a warning about your security. We'll click OK and we'll wait a moment and you'll see a status bar start down at the bottom here and it lets you know when it finishes. Now this can take a few minutes to fully pull all of your files onto the computer so you can see them. So we'll check that in a moment, but you'll see the status bar down here is starting and once it finishes, we'll have our messages. So we'll wait for that. Now you can see all of the messages are here now, and I've actually slid this over so that you can't see the phone number that it was texted to, but I think you get the idea. So this is the text message content. You can scroll up and down. You have all of the things here and you can even search. And if I want to export this, I just click on export, then select my folder, click open, and it saves my messages in a PDF. So if I double click on this, it will open up and you'll see here's the full message transcript. So it saves everything just like you would expect. And it's really simple and straightforward. So aside from SMS, you can back up all sorts of things such as your calendar. You can back up your bookmarks, voice and apps. You can actually uninstall or install right from here. So if you want to install these, uninstall these, you can do that directly from here and manage all of your apps. It's, it's a really easy and simple, straightforward way to do that. Again, you can go to your contacts. And if you want to export your contacts, you actually have to open settings on the device, set iCloud contacts and keep on my phone here instead of back up to iCloud so that you can grab them off of here and then you could turn it back on if you'd like to. So I think this will be a really helpful program for a lot of people. And let me show you how you can get it 
On their website, you'll see iPhone Manager. Of course, I'll link it in the description, but there's a free download or you can buy it now. And again, it's for Mac or Windows, but if you wanna buy it now, there's a one year license fee or a lifetime license. And I'll leave a link to all of that in the description below so you can check it out yourself. It's definitely worth trying out and seeing if it meets your needs just with a free trial and see if it does exactly what you need it to do. And if it does, then you can pick it up. But let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. I think it's pretty helpful. Hopefully it helps you get all of that information that you want to make sure you have saved. And let me know what you think about it. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.